Have you ever pondered the intricate beauty of a plant cell under a microscope? It's a world unseen by the naked eye, but one teeming with life and fascinating structures. Today, we journey into this microscopic universe, revealing step-by-step step how to bring a plant cell into focus under a light microscope. First, gather the necessary equipment. A light microscope, a clean glass slide, a cover slip, a pair of tweezers, a razor blade, and a water dropper. Keep in mind, safety is paramount. Always handle the razor blade with care to avoid injury. Begin by cutting a thin slice of plant tissue, ideally from an onion or elodea leaf. The razor blade must be sharp enough to cut a clear thin slice, often referred to as a section. The thinner the slice, the better the light can pass through, and the clearer the cell structure will appear. Next, place the thin section of plant tissue onto the glass slide. Utilize the tweezers for this process to maintain sterility and precision. Then, using the water dropper, add a single drop of water onto the section. The water helps the cover slip to lay flat and prevents the section from drying out. Carefully lay the cover slip onto the slide, starting at an angle to reduce air bubbles. Air bubbles can distort the image, so aim for a bubble-free slide. The cover slip protects the microscope's objective lens and also keeps the specimen in place. Now, the prepared slide is ready to be observed under the microscope. Place the slide on the microscope stage, securing it with the stage clips. Start with the microscope's lowest power objective lens and the coarse focus knob for initial viewing. Look through the microscope's eyepiece and slowly adjust the coarse focus knob until the image comes into focus. Once the image is in focus at the lowest power, switch to the higher power lenses and utilize the fine focus knob for clearer, detailed viewing. Remember, never use the coarse focus knob when viewing at high power, as it could damage the delicate lens. Finally, you are now looking at a world invisible to the unaided eye, the intricate structure of a plant cell. Marvel at the cell wall, the nucleus, and if you're lucky, the chloroplasts, where photosynthesis happens. To recap, the process involves preparing a thin section of plant tissue, placing it on a slide with a water droplet, covering it with a cover slip, and then observing it under a microscope. Starting with the lowest power lens, and then moving to higher power lenses for detailed observation. So, the next time you see a plant, remember that beneath its green facade lies a complex, unseen world. A world that you now know how to explore. Isn't that fascinating?